What is going on, everyone? And surprise! Surprise! We are uh, we're doing a little vacay here. We are, and not a staycay, an actual vacay. <laughs> yeah. So we are currently at MCO. We just checked in. We're flying southwest. And a uh, little fun tip: if you don't sign your passport and then try to check in at the kiosk, it won't accept your passport. <laughs> it won't. So I had to go, we had to go back over to like the actual booth, like whatever yeah, you want to call it. Yeah, we couldn't do it at like the touch screen. We had to actually check in with a yeah. real person. <laughs> we did. So uh, we are now going to go through security and so we'll get you back out after that. So we made it through security and everything. We are now, it's like six o'clock in the morning. We need to get something to eat because we've been up since like 4, 4.30 and uh, both of us are pretty hungry. And you know what happens when we get hungry? Well, when Taylor gets hungry, yeah. she, gets, she gets really hangry. I gotta say, I don't really remember the last time that I've had breakfast pizza for breakfast. But I am pretty hungry. It looks pretty good. So I think we only got like 10 minutes until the plane starts boarding and it's a really, really long line for Starbucks. No Starbucks. Oh. This first flight is only 45 minutes long, so I'm gonna lean back and take a nap. Touchdown to Fort Lauderdale, and Starbucks doesn't have a super long line, so. I'm gonna get a cafe mocha, and I think Taylor's gonna get an ice mocha, but she's in the bathroom and I left, and she has probably no idea where I'm at. All right, so today, what I kind of really wanted to talk to you guys about was what we are, well, I'm not really gonna tell you what we're doing, because you're just gonna have to wait and see when we get there, but what's really funny is that a lot of people on social media have been like, oh, you guys are going to Disneyland or something. We're, we're not going to Disneyland. Borders and borders only we are not. Time, Come on down. Uh, we're going for Nashville. Free borders. Setting up my mobile command center. Yeah, I know you Anyone are. Anyone in the free border going to Nashville, come on down and see me now so I can accommodate you at this but, time. But, um, or teeth. We need today and this week, so hey, it's Monday. Lots of announcements currently. Exactly. So basically, uh, we are leaving Monday. <laughs> this is what happens when you sit at the gate at like a really busy time. It's 9 a.m. Yeah. Anyways, so we're leaving Monday. Today's Monday. We're going to be coming back on Thursday. But what I really want to talk about is that what we are doing is a benefit of being a travel agent and working with a travel agency in general. Uh, and that is sometimes you get to do these what I would call like a familiarity trip. So we actually didn't have to pay for anything this week except for our flights to get to where we're going. And the reason is because the right, vendor. The vendor basically <laughs> what they do is the idea here is to kind of set it up so that you can promote what they what they're trying to sell, right? So whether that's Disney or Universal or some type of crazy inclusive resort or wherever you're going, whatever vendor that you're using, sometimes they will do this. And so what they're doing is they will pay 
Folks, anyone else with an A or a B? What they'll do is they'll they'll pay for us to go. All we have to do is pay for our flight, and everything else is included for us. And the idea is that we can go down, we can check out the resort, or check out whatever they're trying to sell, be better informed about it, and then come back and be able to sell that because we've experienced it. So that's what we're doing today. And we're sitting in Fort Lauderdale. It is currently nine o'clock, and our flight is at 10.55. So we've got a little hangout here. What's really nice is that I didn't have to take a checked bag because I got this awesome, it's really heavy. Ugh. This awesome new low pro bag, which uh, allows me to basically take everything. I got the laptop in here. This is my hard drive, USB adapter and hub. And then I've got the drone. I've got the second camera in there and basically everything else that we would possibly need. And then I've got a little like rolling carry on. So. I'm gonna edit and hopefully have something that'll post tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, and something on Wednesday. I'm not gonna make any guarantees, but we'll see what happens. And you also won't see this video that he's telling you about this um, until after those videos are recorded and posted, so, you yeah. know. So we're currently boarding the next plane to our final destination. To our final destination. I think I just said final destination. Poor choice of words. Poor choice of words, for sure. Uh, I don't know what I'm filling out right now. Immigration arrival card. Never had to do this before. First time or soon? <laughs> Make sure you check around you, get everything out of the pockets in front of you. On well, we just landed and what was hilarious is that it was such a short flight, the flight attendants were still grabbing stuff as we were literally about we to touch down. We know you have a down. choice when you fly, we take <laughs> like, their butts hit the seat as the wheel hit the couple days, hit the ground. Along here and be safe, Pretty crazy. Please. Well, we have just now arrived to Nassau. So if you haven't guessed yet, or have been guessing, we are staying in the Bahamas this week till Thursday. Compliments of being a travel agent. Now where do we go? Oh, oh gotcha, sorry. We have made it to the check-in. So, pretty crazy. You walk right in, the, the check-in is like right after you exit and we're already on our way so there is a shuttle from the airport to the sandals resort how long's the ride it's uh once we get over here it's going to be a 15 minute wait and a 15 minute ride okay so not too bad 15 minutes just to wait and then 15 minutes on the ride so not bad at all pretty exciting weather is beautiful right now and uh and it's great so just for reference, we actually walked out right over there and we came over, we walked across the street and we're just like, we're hanging out, waiting for the shuttle. They might be coming here soon. Shuttle is coming through right now. Oh, it's coming right now. Here we go. So we're actually not doing this just by ourselves uh, this week. We do have some other agents that are here as well. And I don't believe Josh mentioned this at the beginning, but we are doing this with our partnered agency, Gold Gal Getaways. I did say that. Oh, you did? I did. I just thought you said with a travel agency. I mean, I thought, I guess it's, I guess I didn't spell that out, but. Yeah, just yeah. in case this is somebody's first time watching. So it's basically a familiarity trip. So we mm -hmm. get to come in, we get to check it out, enjoy it. And then 
you know, it just helps us to sell it later. So, pretty exciting. Just a couple minutes wait for the flight to clear. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So we are officially all checked in here at the Royal, the Sandals Royal Bohemian Resort. It's a mouthful for me, but it's pretty cool. I will say one thing that I am really, really struggling with is that I am not a very relaxing person. So this is very, very difficult. It's, it's kind of, um, it's very slow. You know, you're on the Bohemian time, which is very slow and relaxing time. And that's not me. Like we're sitting here, we're waiting for our food and I am ready to like go get snorkel stuff. I want to go jump in this water. It looks amazing. It's tough. It's really tough. But if you are looking for a place to like just come and relax, like right now, this is what this place seems like. It's very relaxing. It's very chill. But um, we'll see. The room's not ready yet. It's not going to be ready for another like half hour or so. So, you know, if you don't know, though, Sandals is for this Sandals Resort in particular is only for adults. Uh, no children are here. This is basically like a couple's kind of like retreat resort, relaxing, hanging out and having a good time. So let us know if you guys have ever been to Sandals, if this is something that you'd be interested in. We, uh, like I said, we have multiple agents here. They are also doing the fam trip and hopefully a lot of really great content to come from this to give you guys an idea and see what this place is all about. I'm pretty excited other than the fact of just having to really slow down and relax. If you're interested, you can head on over to gogogetaways.com and fill out a quote and somebody will be in touch with you. And until then, I'll see you all in the next video.